everyone. Welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is entitled First Aid Kit. And the verse for today is Psalm 147.3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. A first aid kit kept in a lake house cabinet may contain many different doctoring items such as band-aids, ointments, gauze, tape, pain relievers, and a thermometer, depending on the box. The kit has remedies for all different types of wounds and ailments. With all the outside play, splintered wood, jagged rocks, and other debris hidden at lake bottoms, children particularly will have accidents. This is why we have such kits at hand, for mothers and fathers to tend hurts. In an imperfect world, we are bound to experience different types of wounds and pains, many times from the people closest to us. It is vital that we take these internal cuts and bruises to God, who won't scold us but will bind up our wounds. He wants our hearts healthy and whole. If not treated properly, cuts may become infected and we risk growing bitter toward others, and end up causing the same injuries to our loved ones. As soon as injury occurs, whether in our hearts, minds, emotions, or souls, many times all four, many times all four, F-O-U-R, we can go immediately to God, whose first aid kit holds all the remedies to any kind of ache. God, heal me when I've been hurt by people I trust and love. Help me to love others well and experience wholeness of heart. Amen. Well, I'm sure all of us have been hurt by someone. And, you know, the more and more we grow in God and the more and more we trust in Him and have His peace, the less it matters what other people say or think as long as we're trying to please the Lord in our everyday lives. Um, but it is true that He will heal our broken hearts. It says He's closer to the um, brokenhearted. And I see that so evident. I was actually just thinking about that the other day. Um, I watch American Idol. <laughs> and there was this guy, Danny Gokey, years ago, who he has Christian songs out now on the radio and everything he's very popular and he had lost his wife his first wife so he had deep hurt and he really used that and people connected with him emotionally and I've seen that he's really prospered through that and in wanting to glorify the Lord and how can you really know the Lord unless you've really been through something that makes you grasp onto him and connect so deeply so what a blessing it is to have a supernatural power God that can help us with hurts and you know the trying times that we go through so today is also the national day of prayer guys and I just want to encourage everyone to be praying for our nation to be praying for our leaders, to be praying for the men and women of God, our military, um, those that are lost, and may God, you know, use our nation to sh glorify Him. So today it's supposed to be a high of 75. It's really nice out right now. I've got my little baby plant sitting out and I'll be planting them out in the garden beds today, hopefully, because it's supposed to be a full moon tomorrow that pulls them, and rain is supposed to be coming. So, hope that you all have a very blessed Thursday. Please stay in prayer, and take care of yourselves. God bless. Love you. Bye.